Check out FlipSideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Use the promo code HEROES to save 10% on all orders over $10. Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends, and welcome to the special edition of the Match of the Gathering Market Watch. It's that time of the week again to count down the 10 hottest cards of the week. And yet again, we are going to be talking about a lot of cards being influenced by Modern Horizons 2. The set has finally dropped. We're not going to talk about Modern Horizons 2 cards in particular today since they just officially came out. We don't have a week's worth of data yet, and we do have to allow these cards to stabilize a little bit. But I'll tell you, every card in our top 10 today is being influenced by cards in that set. The modern format, of course, is seeing a huge shakeup in their meta. There's new decks running cards from this new set. There's old decks running a lot of the new cards. And because of that, there are a lot of modern staples moving in value as people are trying to scramble to put together new builds. Also, to a lesser degree, the set is having an impact on Legacy, Vintage, and of course, you know a new set is always going to have an impact on Commander. You're going to see it all in today's video. Quickly, before we get started, though, just a fast reminder, if you go to FlipSideGaming.com, you can use that Heroes promo code to save 10% on orders over $10. Currently, if you head over to the website, you might notice that they just did a big restock. You can pre-order all the various products for Adventures in the Forgotten Realms, including the Commander decks. They also have Modern Horizons 2 products there, and a whole lot of other things on their website. Remember, if your order is over $100 or it consists only of singles, then shipping will be free in the United States. Also, whenever you use the promo code, it does support the channel, which is always appreciated. So thank you, and without any further ado, let's get into it. Number 10 might be Meltdown, but it's going up 324 this week to $5. That is a 184% increase. And this is a good time to let you know how we compile our top 10 every week. We look at two major pieces of criteria, the first being a percentage increase in these cards' values, and secondly, we look at a true increase in sales out there. So, back to this card. It has seen a little Commander play in the past, but because of Modern Horizons 2, this is showing up in some legacy builds, including is it Delver. There's a new Legacy Aggro Artifact build doing well in the format, running many new cards for Modern Horizons 2. Meltdown happens to be a very good defensive card against that strategy. Number 9 is Croson Beast from Odyssey. It goes up 336 to 1273 for a 36% increase. And this is seeing more Commander play now around a new card from Modern Horizons 2. That is Chatterfang Squirrel General. Not the last time you're going to hear that name in today's video. Number 8 is Ardent Plea. This goes up 353 this week to 612 for a 136% increase. This is another card that traditionally has seen a little commander play, but now it is showing up in some modern builds with new cards from Modern Horizons 2. Specifically, this is found at least some of the time in these new Cascade builds made possible by the reprinting of Shardless Agent in that set, making it modern legal. Additionally, these decks do run some other reprints as well as new cards from Modern Horizons 2 as well. They are crashing footfalls in living end. Number 7 is Blooming Marsh. It goes up 423 this week to $12 for a 54% increase. Now, whenever there's a big meta change in a format, you typically see a lot of lands moving up in value. As players try to build a lot of different decks, certain lands that cross over between a number of those decks can spike, and that's what you're seeing here. You'll find right now there's a lot of new and updated modern decks running four copies of this in their mana base. Some examples include Golgari Sacrifice. Jund, that deck's running a lot of new cards. There's even an Eggs build out there running four copies of this in the mana base now. Hell's Kitchen and more. This also gets Pioneer playing, and it's in many Commander builds, including new ones like Chatterfang Squirrel General, Karth the Lion, and Grist the Hunger Tide. Number 6 is Force of Vigor from Modern Horizons. It goes up 701 this week to $19 for a 58% increase. This did get a reprint in Modern Horizons 2 as a Modern Horizons 1 Retro Frame card. However, remember, Modern Horizons 1 Retro Frame cards only are found in the Collector Boosters, and they only come in foil or etch foil, so they are a difficult pull, and some players may want a non-foil copy as well. Prior to the format shakeup, this was seeing a lot of modern play. Now it looks like it's going to see even more going forward. You're going to find this in a lot of builds, including Golgari Sacrifice, Amulet Titan, many times it's in Crashing Footfalls, Jund, Hell's Kitchen, and more. Legacy, this is in Hogak, and much more there. Vintage, you'll find this in a lot of decks in that format too, including a new Hollow One build that is running cards for Modern Horizons 2 as well. 
Plus, this gets a lot of commander play, and it's getting more play now, and builds around Chatterfang Squirrel General, Aave Progenitor Ooze, Linus Cryptozoologist, and Karth the Lion. Number 5 is another card getting increased commander play in those Chatterfang Squirrel General builds. This is Saproling Symbiosis. It goes up 1496 to $34.95. is a 75% increase this week. Number four is another Kaladesh land going up in value, Spire Bluff Canal. It goes up 1511 this week to 3199 for an 89% increase. And this does see Pioneer play in Is It Phoenix. It's also in Blitz. Modern though, you're going to find this in a lot of decks running new cards for Modern Horizons 2. A couple of the more popular ones include Blitz and Living End. But of course you'll find this in many builds in that format. This is also a great mana based card in lots of commander decks, including a new one, Yusri Fortune's Flame. Number three is Acorn Catapult. I bet you can't guess why this is going up in value. Oh, no, you're correct. It is because it is seeing increased commander play in Chatterfang Squirrel General builds in Commander. The commander copy of the card is going up 1304 this week to $20. That is a 187% increase. And the copy from the list goes up 1535 to $2424. That is a 173% increase. Number two is Mishra's Bauble, and this is showing up as a four of in tons of new decks in this new modern format. Almost everywhere I look, I feel like I'm seeing four copies of this in deck lists. Now, prior to the shakeup, this was still seeing a ton of play, but I think it's sticking out more now and the spike is happening currently because so many players are scrambling to build new modern decks. A few examples of places where you will find four copies of this, Urza Lord High Artificer builds, Grixis Death Shadow, Blitz is a Delver, is a Control, and much more. This gets Legacy Play 2, plus it is a popular Commander card in Oscar the Reconstructor and much more there. Iconic Master is up 864 to $20 for a 76% increase. Mystery Booster up 935 to 1999. That is an 88% increase. Double Master is up 1041 to 1999. 109% increase. And finally, that original Cold Snap copy goes up 2346 to 3860 for a 155% increase. And number one is Greater Oromancy. It goes up 3627 to 99.48 for a 57% increase. First off, this is a Shadow More Rare that's yet to be reprinted, and if you watch the Weekend Market Watch videos, you know this already, but yes, during this time period, there was a recession in the game, less packs were cracked, and that means whenever people pay attention to these rares that have yet to be reprinted, they can spike. So why are people paying attention to this one? Well, again, it ties into Modern Horizons 2. In Modern, there's a new Enchantress deck running cards from that set, and of course it's also running this. Prior to Modern Horizons 2, this was already a very good commander card in enchantment-heavy builds, but that set did lend some more enchantment-friendly cards to these type of builds, including a new legendary creature, Sithis Harvest Sand. This is showing up in a lot of those decks. And that's going to do it for the top 10 cards of the week. And we're going to see what happens over the course of this week as we move into the weekend edition of the Market Watch. You don't want to miss that one. There's going to be a lot of cards moving because of Modern Horizons 2. We're going to deep dive into everything that happens in the secondary market there. Until then, though, thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Please remember to like and subscribe and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible through the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon and have a great day.